Hey there my friends, welcome back to my Flosstube channel. I am very excited to bring you this video today. My name is Liz, my company is Hello from Liz Matthews, and I am excited to share something that I have been working on for quite a while. The day has finally come to put it out into the world, and I hope you like it. Before I dive into what I'm sharing, um, I wanted to let you know that I do have a bit of a head cold, so I might sound a little off, my brain might be a little fuzzy, but this is somewhat timely and I've been waiting too long to wait another day. We are also dog sitting right now, so you might hear some unusual dog sounds. Um, and I might have to do this in a couple takes, but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. Lastly, my regular floss tube catch up will be coming soon, but this is gonna be a special edition for today. So you can look forward to things like giveaway winners and updates coming in my next video. So for now, let's just dive into what I have for you today. Now at this point, you've already seen the title of the video, so it's not so much a surprise, but I have created for you Stitcher's Advent Calendars. Now these are not something I'm selling, they're something that you make and gift yourself. So it's not something you have to wait in line to buy. Um, I'm gonna walk you through step by step making these to gift this holiday season, thus the timely manner. Um, so let's break down exactly what this is. An advent calendar, if you're not familiar with it, is traditionally something you enjoy, reveal, use every day in December until Christmas Eve, basically. It's the 1st through the 24th of December. Um, maybe you've seen those old paper advent calendars that have the flap door that's numbered and every day you reveal another cute picture. Sometimes there are chocolate filled advent calendars, one of my favorites. And now even luxury brands are making advent calendars with things like skincare, makeup, candles, stuff like that. They're pretty amazing. Um, they come with a luxury price tag, but what's nice about these is you can make one really affordably to gift this season. So let me show you um, what I'm talking about. Let me open this box for you and we're going to talk packaging later in the video, but I just want to make sure um, that I'm clear as I go through the different um, things that I'm included in, including in my advent calendar. So let me open this box up for you. There's some tissue paper here. And then inside you have 24 little packages that the recipient gets to open on the day specified. So they would open this on the 8th, this on the 5th, um, and so on and so forth throughout the month of December. So that's that. This is also the same thing, just in bag form. Again, I'll touch on packaging a little bit later, but within this bag, there are the small little gifts to be opened every day of the month until you get to Christmas. So that's what I'm gonna be dissecting and sharing with you today. I hope you like this idea. Again, it's not something I'm buying. I'm gonna teach you how to make your own so that we can spread a little extra joy this holiday season because that needs no explanation, right? It's been a heck of a year. So spreading some joy and sharing the love and letting people know that you've been thinking about them, working on a project behind the scenes for them, I think is, is extra special this year. It feels like, a virtual hug like every day of the month that you get to open a little package feels like a hug from me to that person now i am calling this a stitcher's advent calendar because everything in these advent calendars that i created are cross stitch related so i thought it was perfect to share on here we are going to break down what i've included how to lay your advent calendar out, and like I've said before, packaging. So um, I made some notes so that I don't leave anything out. Again, the reason I'm sharing this video with you on December 4th, nope, on November 4th, is because in case you are like me and you choose to gift these dog noises, 
and you choose to give to these advent calendars to your stitching friends who maybe live out of state, I wanted to give you plenty of time to source all of the items and get them in the mail to your friends before December 1st hits and they get to open their first package. So I am making four of these for the four girlfriends that I have stitched with virtually this year who I have just Oh, they're so dear to me and I've come to love them so much that I wanted to make one for each of them to like I said send those little holiday hugs every day of the month so that's my plan you have seen two of them packaged up I just showed you and then what I have in front of me are the contents for the final two that I'm going to package and send so let's go ahead and break that down I'll tell you what I included where I got them for some items, but I don't want to turn this video into like a purely sourcing video where it's just like, this came from here, this came from here, this came from here. So I will let you know right now that the places I got them include my LNS. I love shopping local and supporting small business. So that was the very first place I went to get some of these materials. I also shopped at an online needlework store. I shopped at a big box store and most importantly, go through your stash at home for things to include in this gift. You never know if you have something that doesn't work for you, maybe it's your friend's next favorite thing. So don't discount anything that you have lying around that you are ready to pass on, you never know. So I am going to be including all of the information pertaining to this video and what I'm going over in a newsletter that will be hitting your inbox now. So I'll break down where I got all of the things from, the shops that I shopped from, um, and some details about packaging. I'm also going to include a couple ideas for additional items that you might want to include if you kind of want to get a little extra with your advent calendar this year always an option. So that will be in a newsletter that's hitting your inbox now. If you are already a subscriber, no need to do anything. It will be there momentarily. If you have not subscribed yet, you probably want to. And I'm going to put a link in the description box of this video below. Just go give me your first name and your email address. Don't worry. I don't spam you. I don't share your information. It is just between me and you. So you can get all of that information now. So, whew, it's very hard to talk this fast and excitedly when you only have one nostril to breathe through, just FYI, <laughs> but we're powering through. Okay, so I went over the few places that I found these items, so we're diving in. Okay, like I said, all of these are cross-stitch related things and tools that can be used in needlework, like Sharpies. <laughs> I have come to love Sharpies and highlighting. Um, I'm sorry, these are Sharpie highlighters this year. It's a great tool, so I'm including a couple of these in each of the advent calendars. That's why a couple are missing. I did find these adorable, what are called stitch journals. They're actually called stitch journals right there at Michael's. Um, and when I saw that sticker, I was like, ooh, and those have to go in the boxes. So. If you open these up, it's not full graph paper, full lined graph paper. The grid is actually like in dot form, but I think it's fabulous for making lists. lists. You can even do some recharting for adapting any patterns that you're working on. I thought these were really super cute and who couldn't use a little notebook? Again, those came from Michaels. I am including, of course, some DMC thread. Now I went with Acru and Black because who couldn't use those colors? But one way to make these boxes really personalized, which I think is extra nice, is by including some of your friends' favorite colors. Um, I think the fact that you can adapt each box and make it custom to the person is one of the nicest features. So that's one way you can do that. I should also mention that the four boxes I'm making, none of them are identical because I wanted to include those personalized items in each box. And therefore, I'm showing you more than 24 items here so that you have more options than too few because trust me, when you get to trying to find 
gift number 23 and 24, it can get a little tricky. So I wanted to give you more rather than less. And we're just gonna keep on going. I am including a three inch wooden hoop. I love finishing things in hoops. I think it just kind of retains some of that handmade look and just a reminder of the handmade nature of the item. So I thought this would be really great for a quick finish. It's also very um, convenient, that, convenient, excuse me, that is ornament size. So that's going in each of my boxes. We have a dog on the move. We have nail files. These are self-explanatory. There is nothing worse than stitching when you have a snag in your nail. Self-explanatory. I am also including, what do you know? A hello from Liz Matthews exclusive newsletter chart. I wanted to get you guys an, um, a freebie chart so badly that I had decided to include it in this advent calendar. Let me show you because perhaps you noticed the tags on uh, these packages I showed you and wondered what they were. They're actually cross-stitched finished versions of this chart that have been photocopied. So I designed this with the intention of creating tags for all of my gifts this holiday season and thought it would be the perfect freebie to share with my newsletter subscribers. So as for, as for the advent calendar, I am going to fold this up and put it in there as day number two, just in case the recipients want to stitch this themselves this holiday season. I wanted to give them plenty of time to do that. So that's why I'm using it in the advent calendar sense. But let me give you just a little bit more information. Here is the finished piece. When I stitched it, it was done on 40 count vintage beeswax linen from r and r production using one strand of DMC 310. And it turns out it fits nearly perfectly, not perfect, perfect, but nearly perfectly in a four by six prefab frame. So I framed it as well as used it to create these gift tags. And all I did for this was photocopy the stitched piece before I framed it nice and flat. Um, on the photocopier, I, I copied it onto cardstock and cut it into tag shape. So this is going to go on all of my gifts this holiday season. I hope you like this design. I thought it was just sweet and charming. I like the monochromatic look of it. It's super versatile. You could do different colors. You can use it as tags. Uh, possibilities are really endless. So this is a freebie chart, not only for the people receiving my advent calendars, but for you, it is included in the newsletter that I am sending out, like I said, just this, like just in a couple minutes. So there's a link to download this. So if you were on the fence, now maybe you actually do want to subscribe. So that will be there for you to enjoy and to stitch. In addition to that, hello from Liv Matthews exclusive newsletter chart. Um, I'm also including another freebie chart. This is from DMC. You guys, DMC is a plethora of free charts available for you to download. This says Merry Christmas, obviously, and I thought it was really sweet and really charming, and this will go in the advent calendars too. Now, another way to personalize calendars to suit your friend's taste is if you happen to know their favorite designers. Do a quick search on the internet and see if you, if their favorite designers offer any free charts that you can print and include in their calendars. Now, please do adhere to all copyright and requests from the designers. Some of them will say, please don't distribute, not for distribution, and always, always respect that. But there are many that don't have any limitations on them. So choose those and include those um, in your calendar if you decide to do that. And for the record, you do have my permission to copy and put my exclusive chart in advent calendars. All right. So those are two more things right there. Next up, what do you think it is? 
Um, I'm including Mill Hill beads. Now I know not everybody is a bead fan, but I am very intrigued by these and I recently purchased some to try myself and they have me very excited. So I figured if these, if beads make me this excited, it'd be fun to share that excitement with my girlfriends too. So I have included a pack of beads in the boxes. Bobbins, DMC plastic bobbins for the bobbinators. Some of my friends do not bobbinate. They will not be getting these, but there you go. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, this is gloves in a bottle hand lotion. There's a bunch of like stitchers lotions on the market, but with winter coming, rough hands are the worst. And I was at my LNS and saw this and thought, oh, that would be cute and just so perfect in one of those little um, craft envelopes. So I went to the checkout with four of these and they told me they were free. Bonus, uh, they're the perfect size, nice and flat, no problem shipping these. So check your LNS. You never know what kind of bonuses you can find there. I am just so tickled about this. Next up, can you see that? Let's see. It's a ruler. It's a clear plastic six inch ruler. I love that it's clear and small so that it can go in um, notions bags really easily and who couldn't always use a ruler handy so that's going in there I thought things like a scissor keep a thread keep a needle minder would be perfect in these boxes too this happens to be a um, samplings of memory that's that brain fog this is a samplings of memory scissor keep with my chart or my design Charleston on it. I'm going to put that in one of the boxes too. And wow, the possibilities are kind of endless for those types of items and they're really fun to include. Now, more thread. I am including some Krynik Mori silk. This is again something I haven't used yet either, but I am very excited about it. And you guys know that I am a big silk fan, so we can try these out together. I hope my friends like them and just super cute little packaging Christmas colors. This is something I had on hand. It's a perfect example of passing the stash and who knows, maybe my friends will absolutely love these. I am also including uh, some Weeks Dye Works thread and also a skein of the Gentle Art thread in each calendar, different days. Then, how cool are these? These are Heartstring Samplery, uh, what are they called? Bones and Urns Project Label Set. So these are actually stickers. You um, you buy them in a package of six, so you could use this for more than one person. And they're labels that say, upon my death, I bequeath this work of my hands to, is it bequeath? Bequeath, bequeath? You can tell me, uh, but you get the point and you just stick it to the back of your finished projects. I love the sentimentality of that and thought those would be really fun to include. So they're going in there. Prairie Schooler. I couldn't, I couldn't do an advent calendar without including some Prairie Schooler. So I have a collection of mini cards that I have duplicates of and I am going to stick those in some of the days as well. Bouncing back to heart string samplery, Beth Twist is so good. And she made stickers of some of her more popular designs. So that's what you're actually looking at here. This is two packages of stickers. Because I've already completed two of my advent calendars, I've already cut into these and stuck some in the boxes. So this is what's left when she gets you several stickers so you can use them for multiple boxes if you're planning on making these pieces. At my local craft store, I found um, a package of six of these snowflake ornaments. They're kind of like distressed wood and I thought they were just so sweet 
and kind of lend themselves well to an easy ornament finish. You could quite easily attach one of your stitched pieces to the center. It's ready to be hung. It's seasonal. I really liked them. So they're going in there. Let's see, let me bring all of this stuff to me. I'm sorry, you're gonna get a little close up of my hair. This is one of my favorite inclusions in the calendars. These are birds of a feather um, greeting cards. A couple people have gifted me greeting cards that are cross stitch themed this year and they have made me so happy that I wanted to make sure that I included a couple of them in these gifts as well. So I bought a package of eight cards from Kitten Stitcher and I'm including them in the calendars. This is another example of something I had on hand that I am ready to pass along. Can you see? This is like a little mini frame that stands up. I'm sorry, that's not very clear, but perfect for stitching. You could do a quick little finish, stick it in there. It's ready to be sat on a shelf and display some stitching. So it's metal. Something I had, you might have something similar. Pass it along. Oh no. Okay, sorry. Um, some finishing trim. I really, really like this. I don't know if you can see, it kind of has a vintage look of a ruler. And I was really drawn to this and thought my friends might like it as well. Now, not all of my friends do their own finishing. In fact, I don't think most of them do, but that's okay because you could easily send this along with your finished cross stitch to a finisher and they can include it on whatever they're working on for you. So just love this and was excited to be able to put that in the packages too. We're getting to the end guys. I am including some dames of the needle rickrack in a variety of different colors, shapes, sizes, types. And again, even if your friends aren't finishers, there are ways to use this. And I think it's really fun. Wow, I feel like I just blew through that. Two more things. These super sweet little Seiju thread winders. They have a vintage kind of ephemera feel to them which hopefully reminds my friends of me because it's the look that I enjoy and I thought these were just adorable, so going in. And then lastly, I just wanted to say, if 24 gifts feels completely overwhelming, you have a couple options. You could just do the 12 days of Christmas. That's also a really, really fun gift to make and receive and don't forget the power of candy. <laughs> if you're a day or two short, throw some candy in there, maybe something local to your area. Candy is a good thing, always. When in doubt, candy. <laughs> okay, so let's see. That brings me to the packaging portion of this video. I hope you like everything that I included. If you feel like I left anything out or have any other ideas for the advent calendar, please put them in the description box below. I would love to know what I have forgotten, what other things you think stitchers need. And like I said, in that newsletter that's going out momentarily, I have included a couple other kind of more, uh, I don't want to say luxury items, but things that came to mind if you were making this a bigger holiday gift, let's say. You know what I mean? So those ideas will be in that newsletter. But for now, let's wrap up this video with talking about how to package your advent calendars. So you saw that I am doing both a box and a bag format, and that has to do with the products that are included and how they'll fit. This advent calendar is getting um, some large items, whereas this one is staying a little smaller. So that's why there is a difference there. I'm also keeping in mind that I have to ship all of my advent calendars because my friends are not local. So what's nice about a bag is you can kind of collapse it and fold it into a mailing box easily. So 
that's just some food for thought for you. And as far as kind of scheduling your Advent products throughout the month of December, what I did and what I kind of recommend doing is laying all 24 or 12 or however many items out in front of you and kind of pulling them into the order that you would like to gift them. Meaning I tried to make sure that I didn't have four days in a row of thread because that's not how I wanted to gift the items. Maybe you do completely up to you but I just looked at everything as a whole and then ordered it in a way that I thought was pleasing the only thing that I would kind of suggest you do is if you are giving charts that you think might be stitched this season maybe put them closer to the front of your chain of gifts so that uh, your friends have time to stitch them so that was how I ordered everything no science to it just you know, however you think it flows well. And then as far as packaging goes, I don't want you guys to be overwhelmed or deterred because of packaging. Um, it was very, very simple. Let me show you what I did. You already saw how I did some of my products. Here they are. This is what mine looked like. It is a craft bag with a sticker and I happen to um, have a lot of like scrapbook and collage products in my house so that's what this pa paper cutout is the snowflake the deer is just something I had on hand if you don't it's no big deal they can be purchased easily at um, like craft chain stores or don't even worry about it Again, this gift is not about packaging. It's about the thought and the love that you put into it. So don't let this stress you out. So that's what my pieces look like. Um, these are the bags that I ordered from Amazon. They're just craft bags that I fold over and put a sticker and that little embellishment on. These craft bags, I believe, were a pack of 100 for about $7. So I only needed one pack. It was very affordable and overall pretty easy. Let me show you the stickers I got. These came from, again, the big box craft store. What I found was this Tim Holtz package of, what are they calling it? Classic label stickers. And you get four sheets of what kind of looks a little bit vintage open centered stickers so it was very easy to put your gift in fold over slap your sticker right on the seal and label it one two three four up to 24 easy easy peasy i just don't want the packaging process to be daunting for you because it can be really quite quite simple you don't even need stickers use a little piece of tape a pen number those packages call it a day I feel like I just zoomed through that a million miles an hour, but I am so excited that you know what I have been working on. I've been telling my friends that I've been working on something secret, um, cats out of the bag, I guess. And yeah, so that is a Stitcher's advent calendar. Like I said, all of the details are included in my newsletter, which is going to be hitting your inbox now. It's probably already there. In fact, when you're watching this video, including that exclusive Hello from Liz Matthews, Merry Christmas chart. There for you to stitch and enjoy this holiday season. Let me know what you do with this and let me know if you make an advent calendar. Please use the hashtag hello advent calendar so that I can follow along, see what you do, see what ideas you come up with that I completely blanked on. I am so excited for this and just really, really looking forward to spreading some joy this holiday season. I am going to wrap it up with that i think i'm gonna put my christmas tree up now i am in the mood you guys and this year is all about finding joy wherever you can i hope this brought a little bit to you thank you so much for uh joining me today i hope you're doing well and i'll be back soon with my regular floss tube catch up shortly bye